Before getting on with the video, the walrus has fusiform body and the main part of the walrus are the flippers which is a unique part which allows it to swim in the water most efficiently by reducing drag and vibrations. The 2004 Williams BMW or BMW FW26V10 dissected in this video. The BMW Williams FW26V10 introduced the walrus front swings, a speculation of the most powerful design ever brought by Formula 1 dissected in this video. It's certainly rather different from modern Formula 1 machinery. It has constructed under the former Ferrari engineer Dr. Anthony Terzi and was leading the aerodynamic department of the BMW Williams team who joined Williams team in the middle of 2002 from Ferrari. The innovation had interesting results from the car. The car had relatively shorter nose rather than a traditional vertical mounting point for the front wing. The front wing assembly is attached to the nose which curl over the rear part of the front wing which is attached by two separate mounting points for the back on the chassis. The efficient of this that made airflow is cleaned up much more than previously the case and then further compartmentalized by the use of twin keel layout under the nose cleaning up air flow means that the air is less disturbed and the flow and drag will be more efficient and further back in the car and specifically around the rear wing and the channeling of the air means that the side pots are not wide as it was previously was which in turn in 2004 regulation of f1 in 2004 the team can be built or they can build heavier engines that they should last around 800 kilometers in the season so the bmw bought this amazing input in their team finally had some good results which will be shown in this upcoming video and after successful results due to the supreme pressure from ferrari and renault teams the bmw from the fia was asked to remove the walrus wing so i hope you like this video and please do subscribe to the channel and share it and also i'm looking for a sponsors who can hire me if they want me to use their vehicles thank you all take care and let's enjoy the upcoming live from one problem on toya thank you energy through the car well he's starting to get some energy together now Juan Pablo Montoya going underneath the magnificent banana leaf grandstand here at Sepang it's a beautiful backdrop to a Grand Prix pageant a Grand Prix weekend and now some serious action beginning on the track Juan Pablo Montoya one of the pretenders for pole here this afternoon he's certainly been troubling the Ferraris throughout free practice this morning and he goes down into turn one fully committed into the first corner and Montoya is on his way. Yes, yeah, already five kilometers an hour faster over the start finish line than anybody else. Such is the power of that BMW engine. Can he put it to good use through this lap? There you can see where the black, the, the black tire of the car skipping across those bumps and a good apex speed. It's a 24-3 though down in the first set. It should have been a 24-1 if he wants to be on pole. There's no doubt about that. But good speed through five and six. Seven coming up. Eight is immediately in his face. And tends to run uh, very low through there. And usually low line for Montoya, but it's his normal line. To nine then, a car nice and straight under braking. And stable too, crucially. And he's way quicker than Demata's time at the moment. But so he needs to be if he wants to be on the front row of the grid. Yeah, he's four tenths critically, though slower than Alonso was in the middle sector. So that time of Alonso's from the first session in the low, very low, one minute 33. That's the benchmark they're all aiming for. Can anybody repeat that kind of speed? Certainly at the moment, Montoya isn't going that quick. Beautiful heat haze shot as Montoya comes down the back straight. And, uh, well, he's certainly... Williams not particularly happy after the first round of qualifying. What has Montoya been able to do in the second lap? He does a very low 1 minute 34, goes fastest for the moment, but I fancy there'll be a few going quicker than that later this afternoon. Well, unless they're running low fuel, I mean, they're, they're, it is a chance of going quicker, but that's significantly better than he did earlier on, on a 1.34.9. So maybe they have adjusted the fuel load of that Williams. Maybe